Chicken Bone John here. I've got a fretless guitar. Not using a slide. Don't need to use a slide on fretless guitar. Fretless guitars you can only use for playing slide, can't you? No. Fretless guitars, you need really high action. Do you? No, you don't. Okay, I'm here to tell you why both those things about that people say about fretless guitars is wrong. If you want to play a guitar with high action, that's cool. If you only want to play a guitar with slide, that's cool. But fretless guitars are more than what you might think. They're easy to build for beginners. Bit more difficult to play though, not exactly a beginner's guitar. Look at Hollow Belly, all his three string stuff that is recorded that you've most seen in Play Live. It's on a fretless guitar. Fretless guitar. Yes, he plays slide, but he also plays chords and solo stuff and bass runs. <laughs> The other, one of the things about playing a, a fretless guitar, you can mix it up with your slide as well, but there's a quite unique uh, thing going on. You can slide, you know, and I'm pressing the strings down like on a regular fretted guitar, but it's got more, it's, it's perhaps more akin to a bass, double bass or violin. Uh, you know, you can get those vibrato. With a regular guitar, you tend to go bend the notes across the frets or sometimes do this sort of thing. With a slide, you tend to move it up and down. With this, I tend to use quite an exaggerated... Tend to use quite an exaggerated vibrato to make the most of the opportunities. you will notice with a fretless guitar the notes will sound muted or muffled compared to a fretted guitar if you listen to the if you listen to the open string notes exactly the same as a fretted guitar once you start fretting it they're slightly more muted because obviously your fingertips are softer than a metal fret so it'll tend to dull the sound down a wee bit. Sometimes I'll actually, instead of playing the open note, I might fret it to get the same sort of tonality. And you do sometimes get a little like, buzz coming off the fretboard, which is all part of that tonality. Don't worry about it. But for this, you do not want high action. You want it playable. If you want to play it with a mixture of slide and uh, finger, you maybe want to raise it a millimetre. No more than that. You do not need high action. You got People will say, fretless guitar, that's just for slide. That is wrong. You can do much more with it. And it's a, this whole thing is getting the most out of the least gear. And this is one of the simplest instruments you can make fretless guitar okay so there you go i hope i might have convinced you that there's some mileage in exploring the fretless guitar you know you don't have to play it slide you don't have to play with high action it might stretch your playing a little bit you need to be a bit more accurate you know just on this simple little uh, blues riff with that sort of walking bass type thing you, but you can slide into notes if you're not too certain and then you can do other cool stuff like you know it's a little jazz standard kind of ball adderley's work song um there's a fair bit of jumping around to do something like this um 
but it's another cool thing to explore with the guitar. As I say, the three string guitar is pretty minimal. You make it fretless, it's about as minimal as you can get it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it should limit what you can do with it musically. Okay, if it's upset you to hear what I've had to say about fretless guitars and slide, well, sorry about that, but you know, give it a go. Try something different. Stretch yourself a bit. Bye for now.